Hey, it's Pete here, and I'm back for Hand of the Week. Now, this hand came from a viewer, Craig, sent it in. I was playing a BBO Teams match. So we'll just jump straight in and have a look at what actually happened. So you pick up this 7-4-9 count uh, with really good diamonds here. And it goes pass, and your partner opens a strong no trump. And now, how do we bid this? So uh, they started with two clubs and partner bid two hearts. And feeling that he had slam potential, he jumped straight to six diamonds. That's one way to evaluate your potential, just bid there. Um, another possible option here would be three diamonds, which would be natural enforcing. But are you actually going to find out something relevant? You might be able to get to a position where you can key card. Uh, but if you can key card on diamonds, then you end up at five hearts or spades, uh, five hearts whenever partner's got two and you're off two key cards anyway. So you really need to set up a spot where you can know that partner's got three key cards. Pretty awkward. So anyway, I just went for not a scientific, but a, a practical uh, bid of six diamonds. I went pass and I went double. And because uh, it's a team's match and your teammates love scores like this, sent it back. So uh, six diamonds <laughs> redoubled and got the eight of clubs lead. So looking at this, things are looking reasonably grim. Uh, you've got a club loser and two spade losers that you need to try and get rid of. So the way the play went is it just went uh, club to the jack and then they switched to the ten of diamonds. Uh, so he chose to run off all of his diamonds. So. Ace of diamonds, and then another diamond back, and played uh, all of the diamonds. So here, um, they're just discarding mainly clubs. We saw one dis spade discard, and we now have to start discarding from north, and we don't need the third round of spades, so we can let that go. And then another spade, and we don't need all of our hearts. So we can let go of another heart. And we'll open it up here. And what's actually happening is East is actually getting triple squeeze. East has everything. Now, they have to make uh, some awkward discards here. So uh, on the next diamond, um, West doesn't have much of use. And you can pitch a heart here. And East has to discard something. If they discard a spade then all your spades are good, so they have to hold on to queen third spade. If they discard a heart, you've got the ace jack of hearts, which are both winners. And if they discard a club, what you can do is you can play a trick over to the north hand, either a heart or a spade, and then trump a club, and then cross in the other one, and the queen of clubs is a winner, which will then squeeze the ace. So let's look at a couple of the examples of this. So firstly, if they pitch a spade, it's nice and easy. So we'll skip that one. But let's say they throw a club. At this stage, we can play a heart over to the ace. And we can trump a small club. And we see the, the winning uh, club come. And now what we can do is we can play a spade over to the ace. And uh, when we play the queen of clubs, east is squeezed again in spades and hearts. So we triple squeeze them. And depending on what we do, it, it might repeat. Uh, the most likely thing is that uh, East just throws a spade because they can see all the threats in dummy, um, but they don't know about the spades. So if they do that, unfortunately you don't get to repeat the squeeze. Um, but if they throw a spade, then your hand's just high. So triple squeeze here on East to make a redoubled slam. Uh, the next thing is sort of trying to guess what they do if they uh, pitch something like the King of Hearts. Because... At this stage, if you jump back and just look from the south, we don't know where um, the Queen of Hearts is. So should we take a heart finesse, or should we uh, play for the Queen of Hearts to drop and then squeeze them again? So it's a re interesting choice about whether you should finesse here. But there's no actual situation where East would be pitching down to avoid. So East would have another available discard if they didn't have the Queen of Hearts. So let's imagine that the Queen of Hearts was in the other hand. They would either have another spade, which they could discard at this stage, or they would have another club so that they could discard. So even if East false guards with the King of Hearts, then we should, shouldn't uh, play them to 
pitch down to avoid and take a finesse because it wouldn't make sense that they wouldn't have an, another available discard that they could have made. So here, uh, they're just caught in a trap, but uh, if we backtrack to the start of the hand, um, and I'll just uh, start the, ignore the bidding, but we got to six diamonds, then what actually happens is if they West leads a major suit card, they can actually beat this. They can stop the triple squeeze from happening. And the reason being is you can attack the communication to stop them uh, being able to get back and forth between the hands to successfully squeeze them. And that would give East a way out of uh, the triple squeeze that uh, potentially repeats on them if they pitch uh, the wrong thing. Anyway, thanks Craig to, for sending in this hand of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.